Femke Ball striding towards the line. Let's keep an eye on the clock. Penultimate barrier is safely negotiated. One more to go. Can she get over it neatly? Yes, she can. Nice and clean. Now it's lights out for the line. Keep an eye on the clock. 51-45. Yep, your eyes are not deceiving you. Femke Ball left her competitors in the dust. Well, not technically, of course. But as you just saw, she was so far ahead that there's no question whether she'd win or not. Yep, that's Femme Cabal for you. Some of you may not remember her as the hurdler who basically is unbeatable, but as the athlete who fell face down a couple of meters short of securing Dutch victory in the mixed 4x400 meter on the opening night of this year's World Championships in Budapest. Yet true fans know how the Dutch athlete rose from that mortifying event. That said, the best word to describe Femke Bol's journey this season is probably crazy, both the negative and the positive connotations of the word. She shone and stumbled literally on the track, and it was exactly because of her thirst for greatness, despite a not-so-great incident, that she was recognized as one of the top-performing female athletes of the year. If you're thinking that those are just empty words or that I'm exaggerating, well, you couldn't be more wrong. This is evidenced by the fact that Femme Cabal was among the five finalists for Women's World Athlete of the Year honors as announced by World Athletics. If you've been following her progress, you would know why. If not, well, let me spell it out for you. Simply put, the Dutch athlete has had quite a season. When Femme Cabal started her 2023 by breaking a world indoor best, it was clear she was poised for a great year. And, despite some lows, it turned out to be one. A great year, I mean. For one, she started the season with a blast when she made a perfect start to her indoor season at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix in Boston in February by setting a women's 500-meter world best of 1 minute 5.63 seconds. It was during the event that Femke eclipsed the 17-year-old mark of 1 minute 6.31 seconds to finish almost three seconds clear of Jamaica's Leah Anderson, who recorded a national record of 1 minute 8.34 seconds. Two weeks later, Bull made history when she broke the longest-standing track record in the world, the nearly 41-year-old mark in the women's indoor 400 meters. She ran 49.26 seconds at the Dutch Indoor Championships in Appledoom, breaking the previous record set by Czech runner Jarmila Krachavalova with a time of 49.59 seconds in March 1982. Notably, the record was the oldest on record in any track event, including the Olympics or World Outdoor or Indoor Championships. The following month, she continued her spectacular early season as she claimed a fourth gold medal at the European Indoor Championships held in Istanbul, Turkey. The third place at the moment, Femke Bol into the home straight, 50 meters to go, and that gap is widening to Lika Kaba. Femke Bol driving for the finish line, it's going to be another gold medal for Femke Bol, 49.86. She then began her outdoor campaign at the IFAM meeting in Ortgem, Belgium in late May, where she set her fastest ever season's opener in the 400-meter hurdles. There, she clocked a world-leading time of 53.10 seconds at the meet, which is part of the 2023 World Athletics Continental Tour Challenger Series. It was also then that Femke tested her new 14-step racing pattern in a competitive race for the first time, according to her coach Laurent Muley. Despite some imperfections, she managed to run the fastest time in the world this year and achieve the quickest ever season opener. Not long after that, Femke Bol clocked 52.43 seconds, winning the women's 400-meter hurdles, the then fastest time in the world last year and a meeting record at the Golden Gala Diamond League meeting in Florence. She may not have had the quickest of starts, but she hurdled beautifully as she finished well clear of Shamir Little with Anna Hall in third. With this win, Femke held seven of the eight fastest times in history by a European in the event. By late June, Femke Bol secured the first division title and set a new record with a cruising time of 49.82 seconds, establishing the fastest time across all three divisions. Now, here's an interesting tidbit. Femke shattered her own championship record in the women's 400-meter event at the European Athletics Team Championships 2023. Clocking at 49.82 seconds, she secured the first division title. She's still accelerating as the others tire. Kazmarek trying to chase her down, but it's in vain because it's going to be Femke Ball 
and a championship record, unofficially 49.82. Then in July, Femke Bowl dominated the women's 400 meter hurdles with a world leading 52.45 seconds to set a Diamond League record at the Diamond League London 2023 meeting. It was another instance in which she smashed her own Diamond League record and continental record. It has been a great season so far, wouldn't you agree? And it would have been best if it continued to be that way. But as they say, you can't always get everything, or in this case, one can't always win and keep winning. That's exactly what Femke learned the hard way on the first day of the 2023 World Championships in Budapest, when her team was really, really close to claiming the gold that she hit the deck three strides from home while appearing on the brink of anchoring her team to victory. Unfortunately, well, at least for her and her team, Bull stumbled and fell. So, ultimately, it was the United States who won a dramatic World Championship gold with a world record in the mixed 4x400 meters relay. Understandably, Bull felt bad for what had just transpired. I do not know what happened, she said. It has never happened to me before. I'm sorry for my team. I should have finished it off and it sucks big time. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, the last meters I want to go and of course we get lucky, like we all do. But, um, I just couldn't hit my strides like I normally do and I think I cramped up when I felt someone next to me and then I was on the ground. <laughs> Good for her though when she proved to everyone that getting up after a fall and being a better version of yourself is something she can easily do. It also helped that Bull's teammates, coaches, friends, family and psychologists all lifted her spirits. They supported me, Bull shared. At one point we said, okay, tournament one is done. Tournament 2 starts and we're going to go through the rounds of hurdles and get confidence and do my best. She did do her best in her next event. In the women's 400 hurdles final, Femke Bowl didn't let pressure trip her up, especially the memories of a recent finish line fall. On that note, fans would be delighted to hear that she won the world title in the 400 meter hurdles with a time of 51.70 seconds at the Worlds. It was notably a remarkable win, especially since it was the Dutch team's first gold at the tournament. This win was also notable for a reason other than that, since, with this win, Femke Bol has now completed a global hat trick of medals in the most satisfying of fashions Olympic bronze in 2021, world silver in 2022, and world gold in 2023. Not only that, she also produced the reverse effect in the final track race as her astounding finish earned women's 4x400 meter gold for the Netherlands. As the medal contenders reached the home straight, victory seemed destined for the Jamaicans, but the crowd noise rose as Bull's late charge looked likely to earn silver instead of bronze. She duly passed Jurgen 30 miles from the line before sending the decibel level up still further by overtaking Williams in the final two strides to bring the baton home in 3 minutes 20.72 seconds. How befitting, too, for Femme Cabol to bring down the curtain on the World Athletics Championships Budapest 23 in a show-stopping style after she basically opened the tournament in a shocking way. Overall, not only did the 400-meter hurdler relearn her main event to become a world champion, she also managed to bounce back from major disappointment in what was a golden summer. She can run faster and then try to win what she hasn't won so far. It's not a lot. She's missing world indoor gold and Olympic gold. If she does that, then she will have won everything, says Laurent Muley, Bull's coach and mentor. Well, that's definitely something to look forward to just like we have to keep an eye on this athlete in the upcoming Paris Olympics.